From Michael Jordan recovering from a broken foot to Paul George getting back to his best after suffering a compound leg fracture, NBA players have often overcome career-threatening injuries to be one of the best in the business. Injuries are a part of every sport, a tragic reality that has taken away some of the best talents from us, especially in basketball, which is one of the most physically demanding sports in the world. Over the years, we've seen so many generational talents try to fight away injuries without any success. Who doesn't know Derrick Rose? Derrick Rose is arguably one of the most talented players to ever set foot in the NBA. I mean, he did things at a young age that even seasoned pros can't think of. In the 2010-11 season, Rose led the Chicago Bulls to a remarkable record of 62-20, practically on his own. As the team went through some major injury problems at the time, he scored at an average of 25 points per game and deserving became the youngest MVP in the history of the NBA. At one point, no one had any doubts in their mind that the young Chicago Bulls point guard would go on to become one of the greatest players in the NBA. But what we think doesn't always happen, now does it? As fate would have it, in the 2012 NBA playoffs, during Game 1 of their clash with the 76ers, Rose went down with a problem in his knee. Little did we know at that time, Rose had actually torn his ACL and Rose would go on to miss the rest of the playoffs and the entire next year. On that day, Derrick Rose, as we knew him, disappeared forever. He has made a number of comebacks since then with different franchises. However, he was never that same player ever again. But luckily, all injuries are not the end. There have been some players in the NBA over the years who have come out of horrible injury problems stronger than ever. Take Sean Livingston as an example. Select by the LA Clippers in the 2004 NBA Draft as the fourth overall pick, Sean Livingston was one of the highest-rated youngsters at his time. At six foot eight inches, with remarkable agility and vision, he had all it takes to make a name for himself in this prestigious league. However, we all witnessed him suffer one of the most gruesome injuries in the history of the NBA. During a game against the Charlotte Bobcats in 2007, Livingston came down awkwardly after a layup. It was a fast break, so the game was moving at an incredible pace. But as he landed, it looked like time stood still for a while. And let me tell you, some fans in the stands were almost close to throwing up. Not only that, he also ended up tearing his PCL, ACL, and also sprained his MCL. So probably the only injury that's more difficult to recover from than a broken leg, he got that in combination with a leg break in the form of a torn AC. CL. Livingston was never the same after that injury and never matched the earlier promise of his career. But for someone who almost got his leg amputated through injury to come back and become a three-time NBA champion with the Golden State Warriors. And he wasn't just making up the numbers in that team either. He wasn't exactly the showstopper, but he did have an important contribution towards their success, which looked like a far-fetched dream at one point. But speaking Speaking of leg breaks, Clippers man Paul George had to come back from a compound leg fracture. With a career average of around 20 points per game and 8 NBA All-Star appearances, there's no doubt about Paul George being one of the best small forwards in the NBA since 2012. However, it hasn't been all smooth sailing in his NBA career for the 32-year-old. The Clippers man spent a majority of his career with the Indiana Pacers after joining them in 2010 as the highest draft pick in Fresno State history. If you've followed him closely throughout his career, you would remember the devastating leg fracture he suffered at the 2014 Olympics. The injury was so serious that George ended up only featuring in six games for the Pacers in the 2015 season, which was a big miss for the Pacers, as they missed out on the playoffs for the first time after George's arrival. In the two seasons prior to his injury, George led the Indiana Pacers to two consecutive appearances in the Eastern Conference Finals. If I'm honest, with his injury, I feared the worst, as I've seen so many promising athletes like him who get such injuries at the prime of their careers and then end up having largely underwhelming careers. But luckily, George managed to bounce back from his injury and has since consistently been one of the top performers in the league. In 2019, he nearly won the MVP award 
Award, as well as the Defensive Player of the Year Award while playing for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And boy, are we relieved to see him play at his best. Another player we're relieved to see back in action is Golden State Warriors' Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson joined the Golden State Warriors back in 2011, before they became that famous super team that we now remember. Along with Steph Curry, Klay Thompson is probably one of the two best three-point shooters in the league. And together with the rest of the crew, he is one of the main contributors to their dynasty in the league. Not just his three-point shooting, but his aggressive and risk-taking style of basketball is exactly what Steve Kerr wanted in his team. And it's not just that. He's also quite incredible at finding space in attack. For some time, it almost felt like Thompson would be free at every single attack. The Warriors would just pass the ball around for a bit, and then they would find Thompson in space outside the D, and he would make a three-pointer. However, he might not have been playing today after suffering a torn ACL in the 2019 NBA Finals. He was set to be out for a whole season, but as luck would have it, when he was working on his return in 2020, he also tore his Achilles tendon, which led him to another season on the sidelines. At this point, I wasn't really sure if we would ever see the same Klay Thompson playing again in the league. After finally making his return in January 2022, he was just in time to help the Warriors with their late championship charge. In the 2022 season, Klay played 32 games and finished the season with an average of 20.4 points per game, which is remarkable for someone coming back from a double injury. He also played in all 22 of their playoff games as the Warriors became champions. The 2022-23 season has also been quite good for him, as he finished the regular season with a great average of 21.8 points per game in their attempt to defend their championship crown. However, when it comes to returning from a serious injury to make a mark on the NBA, nobody did it like the GOAT himself. A lot of people don't remember this part today, but arguably the greatest player of all time, Michael Jordan, suffered a broken foot in 1985. This was before he established himself as the greatest player of all time, obviously. However, the promise was still there, even at that early stage. It was just his second season, and MJ was just getting ready to establish his reputation in the league. Just three games into the 1985-1986 season, Jordan broke his foot, which would lead him to miss the next 65 games of the season. However, Jordan was never someone who could be held down, not by people and not even by injuries. Jordan returned that same season for the last 15 games and even left his first impression on the NBA postseason. As the Bulls made the playoffs and drew the legendary Boston Celtics side, Jordan just went off, averaging a whopping 43.7 points per game against them. However, that was not enough to save the Bulls from being swept away by Boston in the first round. But Jordan would come back in the following seasons to pick up enough wins in the NBA playoffs to last a whole generation. That was all about some of the NBA players who came back stronger after injuries. Wary of putting him back in. You see the awkward landing and right away.